Hi, this is Felipe from User Guiding, and welcome to User Guiding, the number one product adoption platform, helping you create hassle-free interactive guides with no code. In this tutorial, I will introduce User Guiding to you and show you the basics so you can start onboarding your customers in no time. Let's begin. Since this is my first time at User Guiding, I will land on our panel upon registering. Here, I can start by adjusting my theme that match my brand. I choose my primary brand color here, and how my buttons should look like here. Now, it's time to install the user guiding container code. Containers are JavaScript code snippets used to install user guiding on my web application or site. Installing user guiding on my web app is very easy and will take only a few minutes. Only after this can I start showing onboarding content to end users. I can send the container code to my developer here if I do not have access to my source code, or I can complete the installation via Google Tag Manager here. Or if I already have access to my application source code, I can install the container manually. I already have access to my source code, so I'll go with this one. Here, I can see the JavaScript snippet that I should embed into my application source code. That script is uniquely created for me. I simply copy this code and paste it into the head section of my source code. Coming back to the panel, I'm checking if the installation is completed. And done! Now, I can go to my panel to start creating an onboarding experience for my end users. Here, the first welcome guide is greeting me, and it highlights the checklist. Its function is to provide direction, starting from signing up to user guiding to publishing my first guide. Each item inside the checklist corresponds to a distinctive stage of my experience. As you can see, by signing up and installing the container code, I already completed the first two steps, and they're marked as checked. Let's pass it on to the next step and install the Chrome extension. To create and design guides and hotspots, I need to go to the Google Web Store and download the user guiding Chrome extension. Afterward, I can open the extension by clicking on this icon whenever I need to. Here, you can see that as soon as the extension is installed, it is marked as complete, and my progress bar here is filled. From this point on, I know what to do. To learn how to create your first guide, I click on the next item on the list and follow the path. In the opening window, I will enter the URL of my web application where I want to create a guide. We will type in Udemy's address as an example. When I click on the Confirm button, my web page should open in a new tab with a user guiding Chrome extension working. For this tutorial, I'll create a very simple one-step guide. You can continue adding more steps with the plus step button. After creating my first guide, I'm coming back to my dashboard. You can see that the fourth item is also completed in the checklist. All that is left is activating my guide and displaying it on my platform page. Right now, I'm going to the settings page and toggle on the active button and the content will be activated. Now I can click save and publish changes. Then back to where I created my guides and I just refreshed the page. Now we can see its live version as an end user. And that's it. I have completed my onboarding checklist. You can also create a similar experience for your users. Hope this was helpful.